got to the airport early so I could check my board bag with the airline. We flew Delta and they only charged $30 to check your board bags, which is really cheap compared to the other airlines. We had our connecting flight in Atlanta and from there we flew to Liberia, Costa Rica, which is about a three and a half hour flight, so not bad. All right, we got our rental car. Um, so we got our rental car from Bombo's Rent-A-Car. They were great. They gave us a little safety briefing before we left, which was super helpful. Just to tell us about, you know, what their street signs mean, don't park under coconut trees, things like that. And the drive has been pretty nice so far. You can sort of see out there some mountains, fields. We passed a couple of different um, restaurants and we'll keep you updated if there's more interesting things on our drive. Yeah, one person was selling pineapples. I think they were selling um, like oranges or something. Yeah, selling fruit. We're speaking of fruit. I accidentally had a little clementine in my backpack, which I forgot about. And when we went through customs, you know, you had to put your bags through this x-ray machine, which no one was really directing you. You just kind of did it. It seemed very chill. So I was gathering my things. Someone walks over and goes, Miss, did, did you have fruit in your backpack? I was like, oh, you know, I think I did. So I pulled out my little clementine. Oh, there's another fruit stand. So I pulled out my little clementine and they had to throw it away. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. He's like, oh, it's okay. Like they were super chill and really nice about it. So everyone here has been lovely. Here we are entering the beach town of Playa Guiones in Nosara. It's about a two and a half hour drive from the airport, which about an hour to an hour and a half of that drive is on the dirt roads like you saw in the previous clips. It can be a little bit intimidating on the drive, but once you get to town, it's really easy to navigate. And you'll notice that most of the locals get around on dirt bike, ATV, or some sort of four wheel drive vehicle. We stayed at the Gilded Iguana Surf Hotel right in the heart of this beach town. Here we have one of the surfer rooms at the Gilded Iguana. On the outside you have a place to put your board. And then when you come inside, we have two full beds, a little desk area, with fresh flowers, mini bar. Oh yeah, they gave us fresh flowers. Fresh flowers, all these different books to books. read about yoga, Costa Rica. Uh, they gave us, they gave us a nice fresh towel upon arrival at the check-in desk, so that's what this is. Along with little homemade like ice creams. There was a pineapple one and a lime one, which is really good. They had a little coffee bar. They got all these snacks, so we might be breaking into some of those. I don't know how much that costs, but it might be worth it. Full mini fridge. I mean, with everything. Looks so good. Um, some water, some other alcohols. I'm not quite sure what the, oh, this is for laundry. Okay, nice. Bowling mirror, which is great. And then look at the bathroom door. This is so cool. Look. <laughs> so it has a little lock on the inside, so that way you can get your privacy if you need it. But look at this open bathroom. All the natural light coming in, which this does open too. So we do have access to this outside. 
I don't really know what we would do out there, but we have it. Um, nice big shower, toilet, nice sink area. Looks great. It's been a long travel day. We've been away since two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock. <laughs> They had a really cool pool area with an outdoor bar where you could order drinks, juices, smoothies. It was really close to the restaurant on site. That's where we had dinner our first night and breakfast every morning. We were a quick, beautiful walk from the beach, which is where we spent most of our time surfing and hanging out. If you didn't bring your boards and you do want to rent one, there's plenty of surf shops around town where you can rent one for the day. We also enjoyed riding bikes around town to check out the other shops and restaurants in the area. They also have bike paths through the entire nature preserve which is a really cool way to explore and check out other areas of the beach. <laughs> 